All right, time right now, 5.51. Michelle letting us know everything that's trending from overnight, including uh, new COVID cases coming in. Yes, pretty much every day. And I know. already coming out yeah. talking about their experience. Uh, so we have to, that to talk about. But first, we are talking about Garth Brooks. Uh, this is an exciting announcement for anyone who's, who's interested in Wednesday's uh, concert. A lot of people are going to be watching. <laughs> Inauguration concert. We've talked about uh, everyone pretty much uh, who has been sitting on the sidelines performing. One of those people includes country music superstar Garth Brooks. So this is pretty interesting. He actually has um, performed at so many different inaugurations. That's what I was for reading, every president. which is so I didn't realize interesting. That. Yeah. Every single president except, I think it's, except Ronald Reagan. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> since Jimmy Carter. So obviously prior to Jimmy Carter, this he was, is a, it's he like was a, not performing. But so since I did not know this. that. I guess maybe I, I, maybe I'm not watching the whole inauguration. I, I haven't, I feel like I I've seen I've never it. seen him either. But this, I know Michelle's telling us this year, it is almost like a concert. Yeah. It is. And I, I was thinking about it, but hadn't actually heard that a lot of these performances will actually be virtual. Okay. So Justin Timberlake, oh. Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, all going to be part of it. It says some of them are virtual. I haven't heard exactly who, you know, and where they're performing, but that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. security concerns and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. So yeah. much going on Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah. So that, of course, is happening tomorrow. Also, this morning, I'm going to tell you about Liv Tyler. She's the latest celebrity to test positive for COVID-19. So she, of course, is the actress and daughter of Aerosmith singer Steven Tyler. She compared the virus's impact to a locomotive. Uh, she shared the news on Instagram alongside a photo of herself wearing a mask, cuddling two of her three children. Yeah. It, it does. I mean, so it people, hits, yeah. It's so interesting, though, when you know, we first heard, like, Tom Hanks. That was the yeah. first celebrity. Uh, but I, I, I still think it's good, though, when people are, you know, admit, you know, hey, I, I yeah. got it. You know, just sharing, just being transparent, because I think we're moving through this pandemic, and sometimes people are getting fatigued by it. And right. They don't think it's, it's still happening. Right. Yeah, it definitely is. Want to wish some celebrity uh, birthdays yes. today. Dolly Parton turns 75. A legend. <laughs> yes. And also pretty... Legend in acting as well. Katie Singal is 67. You know who that is, right? <laughs> I don't know. Who Married with children? Oh, I would never know by the name. Yes. She is okay. actually more famous now, I think, than she was, you know, when she was on Married with Children. And really? She's in everything. God yeah. bless Michelle for letting us. Like, we, we recognized her, but we didn't know her name. You know, That's she is here ever. filling us in and all that good yeah. stuff. All right. Thanks, all right. Michelle. A morning mud club question of the day today, too. Where do you want to go? Indoor dining now officially back open. You can go out for breakfast if you want today. We're going to share some of your responses over on Fox 39. All right. We've got your business brief coming up next. We'll be back in just a few minutes.